I've just arrived in Djibouti. We are going to go on our way. This is Yassin. Yassin. We're on the way now. We are at a fuel station to get some fuel. Where are we going? Uh, like I saw, uh, almost two it's, hours drive from the capital. It's the second lowest lake in the no. world. After the Dead Sea, right? Yeah. So, we're gonna go see that. Hopefully, get some good food. And then enjoy my second time here. Below me is La Casal. It's way bigger than I was expecting it to be. Hoping that I can get down and get in it because it's super, super hot. Um, very beautiful. It's been like just brown landscapes everywhere. Suddenly, this gorgeous blue. Oh, We made it down to the lake. It's just like way more salt than his water. I actually fell in kind of. You'll see in a second what I mean. I tried to walk in it and that happened. <laughs> Can't even tell where my shoe ends. Take video on me. Yeah, it's nice, man. Let me try it a little bit. I usually don't like it. I usually hate. Camel milk. Yeah, I mean it's, it's pretty. It's the best. It's camel milk. Try for me. Yeah, it's good. Camel meat here in Djibouti, my favorite of all meats. I've had it in so many countries around the world, but never here. So let's see how they make it. Yeah, it's nice. Good. Yeah. You like the camel? Yeah, I like camel meat. Yeah, I like it. What's, what's the best food in Djibouti? Best food in Djibouti? Goat meat and rice. And rice? Uh, yeah, and rice, yeah. Maybe next meal will be goat. Now we are going to go pray in this mosque for Maghrib prayer. I don't think that actually I prayed in the mosque last time I was in Djibouti. That's one of my favorite things to do in every country is to find a mosque and go pray in it. And this looks like a very pretty one to go and do that in.
last time that I was in Djibouti was December 2015. I came with a friend and we stayed only in um, Djibouti city. We like walked all around, we went to the beach, I have lots of like pretty photos. Um, like we just sat on the beach and like took all these pictures. And then the, the big thing, the reason why we came is we wanted to go overland from Djibouti to Somaliland. And so we got like in a land cruiser with like 20 other people and we ventured into uh, Somaliland on like these dirt roads. It took like 20 hours, I think. It was, it was probably one of the more intense experiences of my life and definitely the most uncomfortable. So I'm happy to be here this time and do a little bit more and uh, hopefully be more comfortable than last time.